That's what molarity means. Now, what can we do to change this? Okay, because there's a lot of times where we don't want a solution that is one molarity. One molarity is actually really concentrated for a lot of things. Um, for example, your stomach acid is about a concentration of one molarity mm. acid. That's pretty strong. I mean, think about what your stomach is designed to do. It's designed to digest your food. Um, what if we don't want it that strong? Well, what, do we, what are some options? Okay, so let's say we got our one molar solution. Okay, and we want to have another solution, but it's going to be the same volume. Okay, so it's still one liter, but instead of it being one molar solution, we only need it to be zero. 0.5 molar. What would we do? Now, if you look at this carefully, there's actually two options. Okay? Go back to your equation. If you have the same volume, okay, but you have half the concentration. What that is telling you is you're going to take okay, your equation, and you're going to say, okay, hmm. I know my equation is molarity equals moles over liters, right? My molarity here is 0 0.5 molar, and I know the volume is 1 liter. What do I do? Well, this becomes your x, right? Okay, so when we start having nastier-looking numbers, how do we do that? Well, solving for x is pretty simple as long as you remember algebra. If I want to get x by itself, I have to get this 1 liter to the other side. So what do I do to both sides? I have to multiply or do the opposite math to get things to the other side of the equal sign. So if this is divided by one liter, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by one liter. That'll get liters to cancel out. And then I'll end with x equals 1 times 0 0.5 or 0 0.5. Now, molarity, the letter M, actually stands for the units moles divided by liters. Okay, your units are always the same as what your equation gives you. So if I have moles divided by liters here, what would cancel out? My liters. What do I have left? Moles. Okay, so to make this solution with one liter but only have half the concentration, I need 0 0.5 moles. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. How many of my packets do I need then? Well, one packet is one mole. So that means, again, I would only need half of my packet. Think about that. How many dots does that have? Well, one mole is 10 dots, but I have 0 0.5 or half a mole. So I have five dots. There's my liquid, two, three, four, five. Five dots floating around. So what's the difference between something with one molar and a 0 0.5 molar? It's exactly half. Now, what could we have done if we didn't want to make a new liquid? What could we have done to this one here that would have given us this liquid here? Now look at that carefully. What is the same about both of them? This one right here, again, if we use our equation, okay, what 
1.0 molar equals x over 0 0.5 liters. Multiply both sides by 0 0.5 liters. One times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, and that gives you moles. What did we just say was our answer for this one over here? 0 0.5 moles. So, what can we do to take this one here and make it into that one? Think of the equation. Okay? The number of moles is the same. What is the only thing you would have to change? What's different here? The volume. How could we take this liquid here with our five dots of solute or half a mole of solute and change it so that it now has a volume of one liter but still has those same five dots? Just add more water. This is no different than saying, I want to dilute my Kool-Aid by half. So you take your Kool-Aid and you add twice as much liquid to it. That's all you're doing. Okay? So that is one of the things you can do. Now, let's say I wanted to increase <clears throat> the concentration here. Okay? So let's say I have my one molar solution. Okay, and it's one liter, but now, actually, let's just do this. How could we use the equation to figure out two different ways if I want this to increase concentration, or what we call molarity? If I wanted to increase my molarity, there are two options. What are the options that we could do? Think about that. If you wanted to increase your molarity, what are the two things you could do to that liquid? Well, again, look at look at your equation. What are the two things I could change to make my number for M get bigger? Well, I have two options. I have moles and I have liters. Those are two things I can change. What would I have to do to the moles to make my answer for M go up? It's on the top of the fraction. I have to make my moles Increase. Well, how do I do that? Well, if I started with one packet of my crystals, maybe now I have two packets of crystals. Now, harder part. You have to remember this right here, right? Has how many dots? That's right, 10. Because one mole is 10 dots, or 10 particles. So I have my 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? What would that look like now if all I did was change the number of moles? Did the volume change? No. So, that then means right here, I would have this container. Volume is basically the same, but now I have two packets of particles in there. So 
It's still one liter. Now I have two moles. What would the molarity be? Two moles divided by one liter. It would actually be what we would call two molar or 2.0 molarity. And instead of having 10 particles in there, how many particles would I have? Well, I have two of these. Each of them has 10, so it would be 20. Or really, 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So, I'm going to have to do 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And notice they're a little bit more clustered together. There's more of them, more concentrated. Okay. Now, what is another option for us? If we didn't want to change the number of moles, how could we increase the molarity? Well, again, look at the equation for molarity. Okay. Molarity is moles divided by liters. Well, what is my other option? I have liters. What could I do to the liters to make my answer for m get bigger? It's on the bottom of the fraction. What type of number gives a big answer when it's on the bottom of the fraction? Hmm. Well, if I had, say, 10 here, 10 moles maybe, I don't know. And this was 10 liters, that would give me one molar solution. What would give me two molar solution? Well, if this was 10, if my answer was 2, what, what divided by 10 gives me 2? Well, 5, okay? So 5 made my answer get bigger. What did I just do with my numbers? I went from 10 liters down to 5 liters. Okay, let's go to an extreme. What if I wanted this to be 10 molar solution, and I knew I had 10 moles in here? What would have to be true about my number for liters? 10 divided by 1. And again, compare that. What happened? Well, now my number got smaller. So as my number for liters gets smaller, my number for molarity gets bigger. So my liters would have to go down. Well, how do I do that? We basically would have to somehow figure out how to take my same container and maybe we just let half of the volume evaporate. Remember back to our unit on evaporation. Evaporation is based off of particles turning to a gas. But when the water does that, remember its heat of vaporization is much, happens at a much lower temperature than the vaporization for, say, the Kool-Aid. So we still have all of our Kool-Aid particles in there, but now we only have half the volume. You see that? So I'm going to have 10 particles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But now they're all smashed into a smaller space. Okay, so some interesting concepts about molarity. Uh, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please make sure you email me. I will gladly explain things in a different way. Um, leave some comments if you have any constructive criticism or things that I can do to make this video better. Please let me know. Um, but keyword there, constructive. So please.